like this is going much better than last time. <laughs> is it a good thing? Um, I'm Ray Claire Johnson, 1717 in New York, and I'm with Friends of the Beltmore. And since we've been through this before, and we have a different commission for the most part this time, I don't expect many problems. But there are a couple of things that are going around that I'd like to bring to your attention, which I've just passed out. It's a study that was done by the University of Florida and Rutgers University on the economic impact of you know, historic preservation. And unfortunately, I couldn't get the last study. So inside, there's one page with the updated figures uh, for the last report. And I have requested them. I'll drop them off when they come in. What I'd like to point out in the, old re in the new report, and this is just an updated figures you have, that rehabilitation of historic pro properties is a, in Florida is a multi-million dollar business and it increases homeowner value and resident or, uh, land values in the areas where historic properties are found. And it goes on to say that during this 0609 uh, downturn, that historic communities or communities that had historic properties fared better than those that didn't. So the idea that something else there would be better for us than what is there um, is simply not true based on this study. The other point is that it keeps coming up that the hotel can't get a flag, and I'd like to address that because there's a great deal of misunderstanding. I meant to bring a list tonight of over 100 companies in the country that manage hotel properties. Many hotels do not have flags. As a matter of fact, most historic hotels do not have flags. They, they work with um, preferred hotels of America and historic hotels of America. The people who build hotels are not Sheraton and Omni. Marriott does build quite a few of their own, but not always. What they do is they provide marketing and or um, a reservation system. And that's the other thing that I gave you. There is a, a report done by an industry expert who actually recommends define, dividing those two responsibilities over two different companies. And then the last thing I'd like to point out is that Mr. Um, Cummings first started saying he wanted, I believe it was 80 units. Then it was up to 120. Then it was up to 170. And then it was up to 300. Now, 300 units will not go on the Bellevue Bellevue. Not up to 300. Though. Sir, go back to time, please. Okay. I believe I saw it in one, one newspaper article. I may be wrong. But I would submit that maybe what they're trying to do is get a demolition per permit for the hotel and transfer the density and try to develop the golf course because we all know that that's where the biggest plum is because it's 178 acres. 